About 11,000 charter school students and parents descended on New York State's Capitol building in Albany on Tuesday. They came to protest New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio's decision to block two new charter schools from opening next year and to halt the expansion of a third. You're stopping one of the best charter schools with the highest grades and all that. That just doesn't make sense. If the school was failing, then I would understand. Because of the mayor's decision, many parents may have no option other than to send their kids back to the regular public schools in their districts. When I found out the news that the mayor had closed my son's school, I began to cry because the local public school is not working. And how, what would you do if the school that works for your child closed and you had no other option? We cannot send my son to a failing school. He's been doing so well, and I just, I can't set him back like that. I can't set him up for failure. Mayor de Blasio will allow 16 charter schools to move forward with their plans to open next year. So what does he have against these three schools in particular? The answer is that the mayor is settling old political scores on behalf of the teachers' union. The three schools targeted by the mayor are part of Success Academy, a charter network run by a former politician named Eva Moskowitz. Success Academy schools post exceptional test scores, and last year they had about five applicants for every opening. Nevertheless, at a forum organized by the teachers' union back in May, de Blasio said, It's time for Eva Moskowitz to stop having the run of the place. She has to stop being tolerated, enabled, supported. Before Moskowitz ran Success Academy charter schools, she was a member of the New York City Council and chair of its education committee. It was at that time that she made enemies of de Blasio and the Democratic political establishment. In 2003, Moskowitz held a multi-day hearing on how union contracts imposed inane work rules on public schools and made it nearly impossible for principals to fire bad teachers. We must examine these rules and discuss them. New Yorkers must know what the rules are and come to conclusions about which ones are helpful and productive and which may not be helpful and productive. At the hearing, she went toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the most powerful political figures in the city. Um, I want to take this opportunity to welcome uh, Randy Weingarten, the president of the United Feder Federation of Teachers. That is what the UFT has been trying to get across this year, the issue of helping us, supporting us to help every single child in our charge. Is it the case or is it not the case that a principal could have to accept a candidate sight unseen? Is that correct or incorrect? There is a plan that was negotiated staring in the mid-60s between the Department could, of could Education you my and the UFT. Just, is it the case that a principal under any circumstance could have to take a candidate without ever having interviewed them? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you. Weingarten was flanked by Brian McLaughlin, the head of New York City's Central Labor Council, who would later go to prison for embezzlement. He told Daily News reporter Joe Williams that he showed up because he wanted to, quote, remind the city council members that the entire labor movement in the city is watching them. They got the message. The elected officials in attendance, including Bill de Blasio, who at the time was a city councilman, did whatever they could to distance themselves from Moskowitz. When a group of witnesses claimed that the union contract made it difficult to remove bad teachers, de Blasio was dismissive. I served in the Clinton administration, so I know what spin looks like when I see it. And this is spin, and I give you credit for having put forward a coherent spin. Two years later, when Moskowitz ran for Manhattan Borough President, Weingarten and the teachers' union campaigned against her. She lost the election, and her political career came to an end. Now that he's mayor, Bill de Blasio is doing whatever he can to please the teachers' union and undermine Eva Moskowitz's schools, even if it means taking away the opportunities for thousands of kids to get a better education. But at Tuesday's rally, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo and other state legislators threw their support behind Eva Moskowitz and the kids she serves. And we are here today to tell you that we stand with you. You are not alone. We will save charter schools. In many ways, the governor has more control over charter schools than the mayor. And he may intervene and provide the facilities funding that Moskowitz's schools need to open and expand after all. And nobody has more at stake than the kids who may be forced to return to their failing district schools next fall. For Reason TV, I'm Jim Epstein.